Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Battlefield 6 o'clock news. I'm your host, Billy the Kid, and the main headline today is Battlefield Hardline has now been delayed until 2015. DICE has revealed yesterday that Battlefield Hardline, the cops and robbers version of Battlefield 4, which was originally going to be released in October, has now been delayed until 2015. DICE has revealed to us yesterday that their newest and greatest incarnation of Battlefield 4, Battlefield Hardline, has now been delayed indefinitely until 2015. It's not known exactly when the game is going to be released, but they are saying that they are going to be working on the game even longer now, and they're going to be making sure that the game is launched as flawlessly as possible with as little bugs or glitches that was experienced with Battlefield 4's launch. We are now joined by phone call from our reporter in Stockholm, Sweden, Brian Johnson. Brian, what is the reaction of the Battlefield community there? Good evening, Billy. Yes, the situation down here in Stockholm is deteriorating rapidly by the hour. At the revelation that Battlefield Hardline will be delayed until 2015, many members of the Battlefield community came out onto the streets of Stockholm to voice their dissent and opposition to DICE and EA. And very rapidly during these protests, riots began to break out within the Battlefield community and they began targeting any video game retailer that was seen advertising Battlefield Hardline. Those shops were burnt down. As such, the riot police were called out to deal with the Battlefield community who, in return, began hurling missiles at the police. Many of the missiles were actual copies of Battlefield 4 that they had looted out of the video game retailers. As such, the riot police began to be quickly overwhelmed by the rioters and their missiles and they asked a employee of DICE to come down onto the streets of Stockholm to try and calm down the rioters. The DICE employee did come down onto the streets with an armful of what looked like battle packs and as he began to throw them towards the rioters, one of them picked up the battle pack, opened it and revealed that it was nothing but dog tags inside the battle pack, only giving the protesters and the rioters more missiles to hurl at the riot police. So the situation is extremely bad right now and it seems to be only getting worse. Billy, back to you. And Brian, what about the reports about casualties among the battlefield community and the police? At this moment, Billy, there is no confirmation about the numbers of casualties. However, there are rumours going around the battlefield community, the locals down here in Stockholm, and among the other journalists here covering the story, that the casualty figures are going well into the hundreds of millions. Now, once again, we cannot confirm this. However, the battlefield community members who have been injured have been complaining that the emergency services have not been attempting to revive them when they are injured. So they are complaining that because they are not being revived, that the casualties are going well into the hundreds of millions. However, once again, we cannot confirm this as the situation is very, very bad and it seems that it's going to be getting very worse indeed. Billy, back to you. Indeed, it's a very, very dangerous situation, Brian. Thank you for that report and stay safe. So ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the situation is very, very tense. I myself went out onto the streets to interview several people and this particular gentleman had very harsh words for DICE and Battlefield Hardline. Excuse me sir, what do you think of the recent news that Battlefield Hardline will be delayed until next year? I can't believe that I pre-ordered that f***ing game and then they sent me five Garth Brooks tickets. My life is f***ed. Very harsh words from that man. I apologise for the language he used. And Excuse me ladies and gentlemen, I've just been handed this report from my producer it's uh, some breaking news. Uh, we can go back now to our reporter in Stockholm, Brian Johnson. Brian, uh, can you fill us in on this breaking news? Yes, Billy. A very worrying development has just come about in this situation. A rumor has now leaked that the U.S. Central Intelligence Agency believes that they have evidence for the real reason why Battlefield Hardline is delayed, and that real reason somehow is connected with the Russian government. I repeat, the US Central Intelligence Agency believes that they have evidence tying the Russian government with the real reason why Battlefield Hardline has been delayed until 2015. Once again, we have no facts about this rumor. We have no one to talk to to try and confirm this rumor. But once again, that is the headlines that will be popping up everywhere now 
the Russian government is somehow involved in the true delay of Battlefield Hardline. Billy, back to you. Thank you very much, Brian Johnson from Stockholm, for your latest report. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know what to tell you about all this news and all these facts being thrown around. Just be sure to remember that this channel is the true Battlefield News channel. If you see any other videos with Battlefield News in the headlines, do not watch it, for they do not report on the facts on the ground. Only here are the facts on the ground report about Battlefield News. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Billy the Kid. I hope you enjoyed today's Battlefield News at 6 o'clock. If you did, leave a like, leave your feedback in the comment section down below. Subscribe for more if you're new, and I'll see you again, lads. And thank you again for watching. Battlefield News.